All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be diagnosing the R34, seeing what's going on with it. We're gonna see if the timing jumped and stuff like that. Um, and if it did, then I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let's get it. First, we're gonna start by draining our coolant and our little thing is right there. So we're gonna remove that. All right, after removing that plug, it'll drain out and then take off your cap and it'll just rush out faster. So now we're gonna start taking apart stuff from here. And actually I'm gonna be doing the cam, the cam gear seals too. So since I'm taking this out, might as well do them. So I think that's where it's leaking from. We'll figure it out. Let's get it. All right, with our radiator out, we're gonna start removing the belt. It's got three belts, and then we're gonna start digging into the timing. So let's get it. All right, so the way you take this off, you loosen that bolt right there, and this bolt right here is not a bolt, it's a bolt. And then uh, you loosen the side bolt right there. This thing right here. All right, for the second belt, you loosen this nut up and it has a little bolt coming from the bottom. You loosen them up and then that slides out. And then this last one is the alternator, which is right here, this bolt. And then this nut back here. Let's get it, last one. All right, now that we have our other belt off, all our belts off, we're gonna run the water pump pulley here. And then this bolt down here for the crank pulley. Uh, there should be a way on this way how to line it up. I think that mark right there, but I don't know if we can use that mark. I'll have to look it up. So let's look it up. All right, so the clink I heard, it was this shaft that broke on this sensor here. Fudge. So I hope that's all. I already started taking stuff apart. There you go. So yeah, that shaft broke. I think that's my problem. All right, so we got our replacement shaft. That's how it's supposed to look. Not like this. <laughs> so yeah, that shouldn't come apart. You know. Right, so I put the new cast sensor on here. Uh, that I had laying around from the other engine that I got. Well, this engine, but. So, my boy over here is gonna crank it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, we're gonna put this down here to catch any oil. Which I know it's gonna start and start gonna pour oil out of here, but that's what's gonna happen. So, and let me just, when, be ready to shut it off when I tell you, alright? All right, go ahead, start it up. There's no fluid coming out of there. It started. Oh, there you go. Now we have an oil coming out of there. Good. Oh, yeah. Off. <laughs> All right, next we're going to take off, like I said, the water pump pulley here. Um, and we're going to try to remove that bolt without taking out the condenser but we might have to take it out. So stay tuned for that.
tire. Top piece is off, the condenser is off. It's right there. The carbon fiber piece, cooling plate, harmonic balance. Uh, now we're gonna take off our timing belt, make sure our TDC top dead center is on. So we're gonna do that next. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. We have to line up these marks on the side and there's a mark down here somewhere. So let's get it. So you put the bolt in that you took out earlier and then you snug it up and then you're gonna use a regular wrench and gonna turn it clockwise until you get this mark right here and the mark on this side to match to the sides and then there's a mark down there that i'll show you guys in a little bit let's get it all right what i like to do is i like to mark the belt with a red mark or whatever black so that's marked and now those are lined up and now down here down here guys we have a mark you see that mark right there you see it so there's a mark on this side here and one over here and they're lined up together so that's what you want them. now we're gonna take the belt off we're gonna loosen up our tensioner which is hold on a second it's right here so this is our tensioner we're gonna loosen that up get this belt off and keep going all right with the belt off we're gonna have to remove our valve covers our ignition coils and then our yeah take all this stuff off so let's get it this right here because I'm gonna just take it off from here take that out of the way but you can you can see this guy that told me that this wasn't leaking or these seals were fine he lied to me he lied to me because they are not fine they're leaking so now we're gonna just replace them and get rid of that leak and keep enjoying our R34 skyline since we got her started Let's get it. All right, guys, so I have to clean up all the oil residue out of here with some brake clean, and then start taking out those uh, seals and replace them. This is crazy, but we're getting it done, so this is gonna be fresh, no leaks. We're gonna be fresh, 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 fresh. So let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna use one of these picks and see if I can get this one out. Oh man, I just broke it. Did I break it? Yes, I did. That piece better come out. And that's that piece that I just broke off. Always take those pieces out. Now I'm gonna put 
down. And you're gonna find the torque spec and you're just gonna torque it down. That's it. All right, all right. so now that everything's cleaned up, looks beautiful. Uh, now we're going to put the seals in and they go flush, so all you do is just slide them in. Put some grease around them, slide them in. I'm gonna try to get it on camera, see if we can get it for you guys. Let's get it. The other one's harder, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, find yourself a socket that fits over this thing and just press on it as tight as you can. And it went in from this side a little bit more. And then you take this and then you whack it from the top. That's flush. That looks good. Make sure it's flush all around, go far. Now, I'm gonna figure out everything, how to torque everything. Clean everything off. I'm gonna clean everything off. Let's get it. These bolt, uh, cam cap bolts go to 104 inch pounds. So that's what I tightened that one at. So now we're gonna do this one. All right, so now we're gonna tighten this down to 97 full pounds. Listo? Mm -hmm. Que no se te vaya para acá, porque si se va para allá, se. Listo. Espérate, para acá. Ahí derecho. Ahí. Mm -hmm. ¿Really? Ahí está. Ya está. Ya now this one, let me find out. All right, so now this one's got a 19, 19 millimeters. And then this cap, I did 19 millimeters also. All right, now that we have our marks, all our marks lined up, uh, we're gonna put our belt on our 
HKS timing belt. <laughs> So this one should be tighter, this one should be looser. The, the right side, this side, should be tighter than the, than the left side. Because you need to loosen this bolt right here, it is not. And it'll self tension itself. So boom. Tension. And now we have to just torque that down. And uh, that's how we do it. Let me find the torque spec. All right, so this bolt, you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna let it just come back by itself. Don't tighten this anymore, just let it come back and then tighten this nut to 45 millimeters. So like 33 foot pounds. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the timing belt. Now we just put back our covers and our belts, our radiator, condenser, all that good stuff and get this done. So let's fast forward that, get this done. All right. So today we broke down with the Beamer. We figured out what was going on and we came to pick these up. These are valve covers that I got power coated. Um, getting rid of the red. And I'm going green and red. And um, they came out beautiful. No blemishes, no perfect. And I had somebody weld those bumps on there. It came out really, really nice. Let's open them up. And there's the quality. Really, really nice quality. can check it out and you know so now we're gonna put them on here and let's see how they look whoa that was cool but yeah they're on I think I stripped like two bolts but I'm just gonna leave them see if they leak because they're they're so fragile you gotta like put them at like five newton meters or whatever like that's where i was putting those and they snapped so be careful guys with this valve covers so if it leaks then i'm gonna just have to you know drill that hole bigger put a different um thread and bolt and make it nicer or something but let's see what happens guys i'll keep you guys updated on that um like i said i don't hide nothing from you guys so i just let you know what's going on uh, so the valve covers are beautiful. Look at them. They are sick. And love them. Love them. Let's get it. All right. So I'm about to start the car after assembling everything. Let's see. It should start right up.
this vibrates right here. I gotta, I gotta do something with that actually. But other than that, started right up, no problems. Try to rip her again.